Uh, and now I'd like to tra transition to uh, Sarisha to talk about uh, embedded smart farms and how we're going to empower your business users. Sarisha. Thank you, Rihanna. Hi, my name is Sarisha Dummer, Party Director of Product Management, and I'll be talking about our newly revamped form builder and how it accelerates and adds value to your R processes. And hey, everyone, I'm Shane Patel, Product Manager within Front Office and Business Solutions, and today I'm super excited to introduce you to a new enhancement aimed at improving user productivity to the RE Copilot. Now, just to step back a bit, we launched RE Copilot with the release of A360.26. And for those of you who may not have heard of it, Copilot is a lightweight embeddable app that can be easily integrated into any enterprise application, whether it's Salesforce, Workday, SAP, or even your own custom solutions. Our EcoPilot delivers automation to every employee directly in the application in which they work and from where they initiate their business processes. Today, I'd like to walk you through a recent uh, user productivity related update to the Our EcoPilot, which is aimed at saving your users valuable time and initiating automations out of the Copilot interface by automatically passing and populating data elements, giving your automations the contextual data that they need to be immediately started. The New data mapping capabilities aimed at eliminating manual data rekeying and its associated issues such as incorrect values being entered, data entered in incorrect formats, and of course the biggest one, the amount of time taken to rekey data that's already available to the user. Let's take a look at an example through a demo. So we'll start today with Bria, who's a customer service representative who loves providing exceptional service to her customers, but is often inundated with all the internal applications and processes that she has to navigate to complete daily tasks. Today, she's received a request from a customer to update their corporate address as she recently, or as they uh, recently moved headquarters to Portland, Oregon. Bria performs this task multiple times a week to assist both her corporate and retail customers. She immediately starts the task by updating her customer's address and all the backend systems in which the address information is stored from the company's CRM and ERP to the finance or management, as well as logistics systems. This not only takes Bria valuable time to perform this work, it introduces a lot of risk into the process when data is um, entered incorrectly or incompletely. Bria is making repetitive updates to these front and back office systems responsible for payments, contracts, and shipping of orders. A mistake in data entry can easily result in service disru uh, disruptions for the customer. So next, Arisha will take us through how we can use the power of the automation success platform to turn this painful, repetitive process into something that Bria can complete much more quickly. So we should go over to Thank you, you Shane. Now, all RE process requires some sort of app interface for humans to be able to interact with automations. A newly revamped form composer provides a quick and easy way to build this intelligent apps for even a novice user. It has simple drag and drop interface with a rich set of form elements that can be used to create simple or complex forms with equal ease. We have simple data elements such as text box, drop down, etc. And also like some complex elements such as uh, both data and visual elements such as tables, images, and even document viewers. It is built using our pa UX paradigms that takes into account accessibility needs that are a key requirement for many organizations and also responsiveness so they can support various display formats. Business logic can easily be incorporated with these forms to guide the users through the flows, enforce data validation, enforce data formatting, and catch any errors before even if before the data even gets submitted to the backend. This logic can be enabled in the form of simple pre-existing properties on elements or by using rules builder. An example shown here is past word restrictions such as length and supported characters can be configured using the properties. However, for more comprehensive logic such as passwords cannot contain first or last name, it's just as easy to build these intelligence into the forms using a rules builder that caters to business users. Users can create rules that are context sensitive using if then else logic very easily. An inbuilt app composer means it can in Currently integrate with our automations within the platform, giving the ability to build comprehensive applications that accelerates your human processes while also mitigating human errors. It saves companies a lot of dollars they would invest in otherwise app building resources and specialists. The operational cost of having to maintain these apps within their uh, system. Once the forms are created, it can easily seamlessly be incorporated into your processes and bots to build complex and conditional flows 
that can be even driven or data driven these flows are then embed flows are then embedded into the third party applications that end users are very familiar with and this helps minimize disruption to end users while also driving benefits of automations over to you Shane for the rest of the demo Thank you. So next, Marcus has been tasked with making Oracle Pilot available within Salesforce. He's received the requirements document from Paul displayed on the left there, and he's already begun the work of creating a new Lightning component, what you see on the right, to be displayed on the account record page. As Marcus was able to copy and paste the sample code from the Automation Anywhere documentation portal, he's been able to create this in minutes. Marcus ensures that the control room URL is added, which checks the validity of any request for data, providing that added level of security to the integration. And then he takes a copy of the template code and begins updating it, starting with the process that ID representing the recently deployed RE change of address process. Lastly, Marcus updates the code with the element IDs as well as the Salesforce data fields that will be mapped to each of those elements. Thank you to our automation to Paul for a well outlined requirements document there. That's really as simple as that. In just a few minutes, Marcus is able to add, customize, and deploy the code into a custom Lightning component. He then completes his task by navigating to the page editor, which allows for creating page layouts for users. And here he's able to drag and drop his new custom component onto the page layout. And there you have it, RE Copilot, bringing automation directly to business users in their enterprise applications, whether it's Salesforce in this example, or Oracle, ServiceNow, Microsoft Dynamics, or any other web application in which business users perform their work. Let's wrap up by taking a look at how Bree is now able to help her customers with a change of address process using her new helpful digital copilot in Salesforce. She receives that same change of address request that we saw previously and opens Salesforce as that's her primary application in which she manages customer information and interactions. She updates the customer address on the account record for both shipping and billing as requested. Once complete, she navigates to her new RE Copilot where she locates the change of address automation to help her update the remaining back office systems. Notice how the address fields have been pre-filled thanks to the integration mark as help complete. What used to take Bria nearly five minutes per request, she's now able to complete in just over a minute thanks to her new R pilot. That's an over 400% increase in productivity um, for Bria, among numerous other benefits, including increased employee as well as customer satisfaction, reduced errors, and in turn, reduced costs to the business. That wraps up Smart Embedded Forms. Rihanna, back to you. Thank you, Shane. Risha. Now I'd like to hand it over to Shiraz to walk us through uh, Microsoft uh, Form Recognizer within Document Automation. Shiraz? Yeah. Thanks. Hi, everyone. My name is Suraj, the Product Manager for uh, Document Automation. So today I'm going to talk about the integration of docu Document Automation with Microsoft Form Recognizer in .27. Uh, so to give a context, almost 70% of most business processes involved have a step for product processing documents as part of their process steps and uh, essentially if you need to scale your automation programs uh, it is important that we need to automate your document processing as well uh, with this in mind uh, we had created or uh, we have released document automation the application uh, the last uh, year in the middle of last year which enables you to automate a lot of processing of documents such as invoices uh, <clears throat> invoices receipts utility bills and others and uh, it does this by using technology which Automation Anywhere provides as well as with integration with third parties such as Google, uh, which enables you to do that. So uh, adding on to that, uh, uh, use cases which have been automated in the previous releases, in this release, we are integrating document automation with Microsoft Form Recognizer to add more use cases, especially around the area of structured documents. So with .27, what you would be able to do is essentially expand your use case coverage for document automation by processing tax forms, vehicle registrations, mortgages, ID cards, and others. And also, essentially, you can extract documents which are in other languages, such as Japanese, Korean, Chinese, and Spanish. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is going to show you a demo of how this integration works. So over to you, Rena. Yeah. So this is the document automation uh, screen, wherein, yes, you have already said we have different learning instances which are used to extract from different types of documents, such as invoices and others, uh, utility bills and others. And as you can already see, we also have provided the list of providers or technology partners whom we work with to extract from the different documents. So we have Google Doc AI and Automation Anywhere. So now to work with Microsoft, the steps which you have to do are as follows in order to extract from documents. First, you need to create a model which you have to train. And once you have created the model, you can use, you can consume the 
model within the learning instance in document automation to process your documents. So now we're going to show how a sample document can be extracted using uh, Microsoft Form Recognizer. So for this purpose, I'm taking this document W2 wage attack statement, and I'm going to show you how this is being extracted using document automation. So first I'm going to go ahead and create a model. So it comes to this page, I can create a new project, which is essentially to hold all the documents to train this model. So I'm creating a W2 project. <coughs> as you can see here and then i'm going to upload a minimum of five documents which is required to train the model so here i can just choose five documents and then start training the model to extract from the w2 document so I select all the five documents and i create a project and it takes me to a page where i can go ahead and start the model creation process so as you can see these five documents are uploaded there is an ocr which is running to identify these documents and once that is done you can start training the document. So here I define what all fields I need to extract from these documents and I selected the employee social employer so, social security number, the employer identification number and the just and then essentially map the values to those particular fields which I had defined in the tags. So here I have done this and mapping the different values. And once it is done, I need to do this for the remaining four documents as well as we need the five to be trained. Uh, uh, the number of documents which you have used to train here uh, would depend on the variations in your documents. So the more the variation in your forms, the more number of documents you can add to increase the accuracy of the model. And once you have labeled all of these, you can go ahead <clears throat> and click on the tab for train here and then essentially create a model which trains from all the inputs you have given. So I'm just creating a demo model and I give it train, it trains the model and then gives us the estimated accuracy of extraction from these fields and also the average accuracy of the model. Once this is done, you can now consume this model within the document automation learning instance. I go ahead and create a learning instance, give it a name W2 and then essentially go ahead and select the type called standard forms and then choose the model which I currently created. This is the W2 demo. Once I select that, what happens is it go to the next screen. It shows all the fields which I have trained. I can go ahead and select the fields which I want for my learning instance to be extracted and create the learning instance. It's as simple as that. Now to test this, what I can do is I can click on the process action here and upload a sample document to see how my extraction works with the model which I created. So select it and I give up space where I want to output the output and I just say process documents. So here it comes to the output. I go to the success folder and it has created the CSV file which contains the extracted data document. So it, I just open it right now just to give you what it looks like. So this is exactly the data which is there in the document form. Now, uh, as it is integrated with document automation, it gives you a powerful feature to add business rules as well to the extraction which you're doing. So here I'm going to add a business rule under the employer employee social security number, wherein I want to make sure that the extraction data is in the form of a number rather than a text. And once I do this and I update my validation rules, when I extract the data, document automation will add this validation to this. And if it fails, it goes into the human in the loop validator, which is integrated with document automation. So the same thing I'm doing again, I'm uploading the same document that clicking on process. And now if you wait for this, it will uh, go into the validation. And then it will, when I open this, it opens the human to do validator for me to modify and correct the error, which is there. And then save the, ex save the document to extract it successfully. So I just remove the dashes here. And then I just say submit and the doc saves successfully. So what, once this is done, definitely you can uh, go ahead and then publish your bots which you have created in document automation and make it available as part of your larger automation process. So what I've showed here right now is a seamless integration with Microsoft to easily create a model, then consume the model with a learning instance, do a validation with the integrated RE process, and then finally go ahead and get the output which you can then subs pass it out to your subsequent processes. Uh, thank you a lot and uh, handing over to Rihanna. Thanks, Siraj. Pass it over to 